everybody. So in this second tutorial, I'm going to show you where we left off. We had that crown that was ready to 3D print here from uh, Exacad. So I'm going to save and I'm going to show you how to then set up the only other part we didn't cover in Exaplan, which is the actual guide design. The guide then, we've got all the parts we need uh, ready to go for the implant placement where we're going to place the implant and have a ready-made temporary crown. So obviously we need the guide for that. Now, if you have the guide creator module, uh, then you can go forward with this. We've loaded it back up uh, into Exaplan. So I'm just going to click surgical guide and that highlighted option there, we just clicked. That won't be available if you haven't completed an implant plan, obviously, but we've done that. We've set everything off. I'm going to click surgical guide to click the next step. So it's going to bring everything in exactly uh, where we left off in Exaplan. And we're going to be able to then just with a few easy clicks of the wizard, go through the steps and design a really nice guide. I'm going to show you a few little tips along the way, obviously, as well. Do we need to bring in the antagonist? Not for the purpose of this now. We're not designing a crown. Uh, that's OK. So here we go. We've got the sleeve mount that's over the top of the implant. Um, it brings it in with the usual settings. I always like that sleeve mount to connect to the bottom of the guide. So uh, and I also like to have it just that offset just slightly just so that all my tools fit through really, really nice and easy. And my height, I'm going to increase so that it sits right down to the base of the guide there as well. 